Hi guys, today I want to make a video about my uh, my e-reader. I'm using the Kobo 01. Um, actually, I want to show you how to transfer ebooks to your device. Um, the advantage of using a device like uh, like a Kobo against uh, using a device like uh, like a Kindle is that the uh, it's it's an open device. There are no restrictions. So you can pretty much use it like you would use a flash drive. Um, the idea came up after my girlfriend uh, struggled with transferring the um, uh, ebooks. So I thought I would make a video about it. Um, the process can be intimidating, but actually it's it's very much um, it's pretty much straightforward. So yeah, let's get started. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, yeah, like I as promised, uh, I will show you how to transfer ebooks from your computer to your e-reader. Um, first, I want to mention that there are two options to do it actually. Um, so the official way to do it is to download the the app um, directly from the Kobo Kobo website. Um, so is this Kobo desktop? But one thing that I don't like about this app is that it can be quite finicky and um, I prefer to use the um, just the other method, in my opinion, which is um, more simple and, and more secure, not, not more secure, but um, you will have a better result. Um, so yeah, it's up to you, but I would not use this, this app if I were you, um, because I mean, I'm, on Windows it can be can be quite um, sometimes it doesn't, it's not working like, like it's supposed to um, so um, yeah I have, I have basically two windows um, this is the the Kobo device um, and this is a an ebook that I that I, that I bought um, so the process is just just simple you just drag and drop but like, as you, as you can see it's already present in the in the in the folder. I will replace it. Um, so um, that's it. Um, now something I want to mention before before ending the, uh, the video is that uh, if you don't see this device, it means that it's not properly connected. So you just you just unplug it and you plug it back in. Um, so yes, that's. Um, that's what I would recommend um, that you do. Um, now, once it's copied, like you see, like like you see here, you just um, remove it safely, and that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, eject. So, and you, you will have a message uh, saying that it's safely, it's safe to remove the device. Um, so, and once uh, once it's it's done. The Kobo will um, um, automatically import the uh, the the, the ebook. You will have it on your on your device. So I'm gonna end the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And see you next time. Hey, I forgot to say something, so I'm back again. Um, one more tip I want to give you is the um, this folder. Uh, if you don't have it, I would uh, recommend that you uh, that you add it. Uh, basically, like uh, like the name suggests, you can add fonts to your device, which is one more one more one, one more piece of evidence that this device is is open. So I have uh, tons of fonts um, that, I, that I added. Um, I'm 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 learning. I'm, I'm currently reading um, learning Thai Thai language, so I have tons of uh, Thai fonts. Um, so yeah. It's, if if you don't have uh, if you don't have it, this is one more thing that you can add to your device. So just new folder fonts, then you will have it. Um, and believe me, it's it's very useful. If you um, if you're going to learn something that's not a Roman language, you will be um, it will be useful to have it. Um, especially like I think um, if, I, if I remember correctly, the uh, Kobo recognizes uh, Japanese um, out of the box but some languages like like Thai like 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 I mentioned you won't recognize so that's uh, my suggestion that you that you add this this folder and yeah it will help you
help you. Um, so, um, okay, so I'm leaving and have a nice day.